Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's really a pleasure being here at the Comic Con today, and I'm glad you enjoyed the movie. Uh, Bruce, who I've known for about 10 years now, uh, I, in fact, the first time I met Bruce was in New York City about nine years ago I was, when I was fighting. In fact, I was fighting for the world title, and Bruce was, that's when Bruce was doing the Green Hornet series, and uh, he came back there as a celebrity, as a celebrity guest. And uh, after I won the title, the promoter introduced me to Bruce, and so we started talking about our philosophies and the martial arts and so forth. And anyway, we were both staying at the same hotel, the Americana in New York, and we started walking over to the hotel. As we got going up the elevator, I remember Bruce was staying on the seventh floor and I was on the ninth. As we got to his floor, we were really getting pretty involved in our, into our conversation. So instead of me going up, I stepped out in the hallway with him. And this is like 11, 11.30 at night. And we started working out in the hallway. And next, thing, next time I looked at my watch, it was 7 o'clock the next morning. And uh, it was amazing because the guy did, he had so much knowledge and, uh, as you know, on the screen, ability, that it seemed like an hour had gone by as far as us working out and, and uh, exchanging ideas. So he said, well, when we get back to Los Angeles, why don't we start working out together, which we did when I got back. We started training together, and then uh, the series was canceled, and he went to Hong Kong to pursue a movie career. When he went to Hong Kong, his first movie, the biggest grossing movie in, in Asia, before Bruce went over there, was The Sound of Music. It had grossed $2.4 million, which again was the biggest movie ever grossed in, in the Orient. Bruce did the first movie called The Big Boss, which over here was The Fist of Fury, and that one grossed $3.2 million, which is 800000 more than The Sound of Music. Then he did uh, The Fist of Fury, which over here was called The Chinese Connection, and that one grossed $4.3 million. And then he called me up and he said he'd like to do a, a movie with a real good fight scene in the movie. I said, well, the only way we can have a fight scene is if, you know, if we if I get to hit you once in a while. <laughs> Cause, and he said, well, yeah, naturally, you know, we'd make it a back and forth type fight. So anyway, uh, that fight scene that you saw took us five days to do. And, uh, and in Asia alone, the, the movie grossed over $11 million. It's the biggest grossing movie in the history of Asia, and, and they don't think anything will surpass it for a long time. Then, uh, then Bruce naturally did uh, Enter the Dragon, which was his last movie. And uh, it's probably the biggest grossing movie as far as... Uh, martial art movies go, but uh, Bruce was, you know, was 32 years old. Let me ex explain something about his death, too, because there's, I guess, so many, you know, rumors that are going about about how he uh, passed away and so forth, about touch of death and drugs and so forth, and so I'd like to clarify that before we go on with the demonstration. Is Bruce, in 1968, well, uh, you know, he's pretty heavy in, in the weightlifting, as you could tell. He was very well built, and uh, he was lifting weights one night with uh, Karim Jabbar, who was a student of his, uh, when, he was, uh, when he was in Los Angeles, playing at UCLA. And he tried to lift too, many, too heavy weights and he ruptured the disc in his back and he was laid up in the hospital for three weeks. In fact, the doctor said that they didn't know if he'd be able to walk again or not. But of course, with a person like Bruce who's got the drive and determination to achieve anything in life, he was up in about a month and, uh, and within three months he was as strong as he ever was. But he had constant back pains from that day on. And he was having to take medication to keep the muscles in the back loose and relaxed. So what happened is that when he was in Hong Kong preparing for his uh, next movie, he was uh, working with a, a girl named Betty, uh, and who was going to co-star with him, and he got a severe headache. So Betty gave him some antibiotics for the headache, and with the uh, medication he had taken for his back and the medication he had taken for his headache, they reacted to each other and made his brain swell up, and it created an aneurysm or a rupture of blood cells in his brain, and that's actually what happened. So if anyone asks you what happened, you can tell them the true story.